Okay, good night to everyone. Well, good, good evening to everyone. All good right. Evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you, all of you. All right, let's start another English class. Vamos a iniciar otra clase en inglés. Um, today it is Wednesday 7th. Wednesday Good evening. 7th. Good evening. Wednesday 7th. So uh, in the previous class, we studied, yesterday we studied, for example, the professions. Also, we studied the adverb of frequency. Also, we reviewed the furniture. So today we're going to continue studying some of those topics. And also we're going to have the simple present tense. Vamos a... De ayer estudiamos un poco eh, los furnitures, las jobs, jobs, jobs and professions, eh, poco del presente simple. En today, y ahora vamos a ver, vamos a continuar viendo esos temas y vamos a tener una actividad de speaking. Okay, speaking. All right. Para entrar en calor, to warm up. We're going to have. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. For example, what is his profession? Good evening, teacher. Police officers. Police? Police officer. Police officer. Very good. Police office. How about this? Architect. Architect. Very good. Teacher. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. How about this? Do you, do you know how to call this profession? A stylist. Stylist. Okay. So, aquí lo podemos de dos formas. Tenemos stylist y también tenemos hairdresser. Hair dresser. Hair dresser. Hair dresser. How about this? Veterinary. Veterinary. Vet. 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 Accountant. 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 Or also bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Musician. Musician, very good. Reporter. Reporter. Doctor. 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 Model. Top model. Top model. Soccer player. Soccer, Soccer player. player. Soccer player. Soccer player. A lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer. That is the lawyer. 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 A waitress. I'm sorry. Waitress? Waitress. Waitress. Nurse. 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 Pilot. 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 Ok, vamos a continuar practicando. For example. Oh, 
police officer. Police Pole officer. Police officer. Pole officer. Zookeeper. 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 Doctor. 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 Farmer. Builder. 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 Winter. 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 Science. Science. Scientist. Science. Scientist. Scientist. Cook. 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 Football player. Football player. Or soccer player. Too. Soccer player. Excellent. Okay, we're going to keep practicing the profession. Profession. Good evening. Good evening. Hold on, please. Give me one second. Ok, voy a compartir con ustedes un link. Si me ayudan, en, alguien enviándolo al grupo de WhatsApp para que los compañeros se hagan. Pues. Okay, I have three players. Three players. Twelve. May I start now? Okay, let's start right now.
Okay, let's see. Top, top five. Miss Silvia, Mr. Miss Concepcion, Miss Elizabeth, Miss Maria, jo Maria Jesus, and the winner, Miss Karen. Okay, congratulations. Let's see now, for example, what is his profession? Pilot. Pilot. Pilot, very good. Two? Yeah, a person who treats sick people? Doctor. 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 I cook in a restaurant. I am? A chef. chef. A chef. I work in a school. I am? A teacher. A sure. teacher. Who am I? I am a? Soldier. 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 Uh, what occupation does this person have? Athlete. Athlete. Who am I? Farmer. Farmer. A person who fixes problems with dentist. 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 I, I travel into space. Astronaut. Astronaut, very good. Astronaut. Okay. I'm going to practice. Vamos a tener otro. Another one. Give me a second, please. Give me a minute. Ok, ahí está otra vez el link para poder practicar nuevamente los jobs and occupation. May I start now? Yes, teacher.
top five. Miss Yvonne, Miss Elizabeth, Miss Karen, Mr. Jonathan, okay. And the winner this time, Mr. Luis Enrique. Okay, Mr. Luis Enrique. Very good, congratulations. Vamos a revisar las preguntas. Y dice, number one, who is she? She is teacher. Who is he? He is chef. 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 He is chef. Uh, who is she? A doctor. Doctor. Artist. Artist. Firefighter. Firefighter. Farmer. Farmer. I'm sorry? Farmer. Farmer, very good. Scientist. 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 Pilot. Pilot, very good. Muy bien. So, vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta noche. La clase número 8. Con Mr. Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Presente, ya. Good. Uh, thank you. Uh, Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Uh, Maribel Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Thank you, Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Good. López González. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Orellana de Alemán. Orellana de Alemán. Santana González. Present. Tobar Ayala. Present teacher. Herrera Lucha. Present Herrera teacher. Lucha. Thank you, Present López teacher. Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you, Alvarado Mejía. Present. Thank you very much. Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. Thank you. Leon Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Castaneda Velasco. Present, Mr. Thank you. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Martinez López. Thank you, Mr. Present. Thank you. <coughs> Hernández, Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Molina de García. Molina de García. López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Luna Sosa. Present teacher. Good. Rivera Hernández. Rivera Hernández. En Pineda Mármol. Ok, thank you very much. Vamos a continuar. Ok, vamos a recordar un poco eh, la conversación que tuvimos el día de ayer. Ok, dice, hello Jennifer, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in regular basis. That sounds good, look. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir, how often do we what do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Una vez más. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I, I want to, to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we'll seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever, do we ever give a promotional item? 
No, sir, we never do. Okay. Uh, this is the conversation that we had yesterday. We're going to practice, but this time will be faster. Vamos a practicarlo, pero esta vez va a ser un poco más rápido. Ok, well, I guess you practice this time. Esta vez es un poco más corta, ya que esta lo vimos en la clase anterior. Vamos a pedirle a algunos voluntarios debido a que está mucho tiempo. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Clarixa y Miss Wilfredo. Si nos pueden hacer lectura. Ok. Si okay. gusta, empieza Clarixa. Eh, ok. Hello, Wilfredo. How is going? Just fine, Miss Ramos. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. And the sound of loot and team about new marketing strategy and one. I am, pardon, want to know something. Tell me, Miss. How often do you we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Mm, do you 
have we ever given to a promotional int? No, miss. We never do. Okay. Excellent. All right. Vamos a reforzar la función de how's it going? How's it going? ¿Qué significa how's, how's it going? going? ¿Cómo te va? Ajá. Ok. Eso significa como ¿Cómo estás? Oh, ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te ayudo? ¿Cómo estás? Ok. How you doing? Or how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Ok. Eh, también tenemos eh, strategies. 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 Okay. Very good. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Concepción y Miss Rosibel si nos pueden hacer lectura, por favor. Ok, teacher. Hello, Rosibel. How is it going? Excellent. Just fine, Mr. Miss Concepción. I am just checking the number of people who come if a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategy, and I want Strategies. to know something. Strategies. Strategies. Tell me, Miss. How often do we change the menu? Excellent. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, Miss, we never do. Excellent, very good, good pronunciation. Okay, promoting, promoting a dessert. Promoting a dessert. Promoting a dessert. Excellent. Promoting a dessert. Very good, vamos a pedirle a Mr. Jonathan y a Miss Silvia, ya para ir finalizando. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Maud. I am just checking the number of people who come is a regular basis. That's so good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? The menu. The menu. Well, we sell on changing the menu. However, we are a promotion address every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, este es item. 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 Sí, en español. Lo que sucede en español, en español decimos item, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés es item. 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 Este es menu. 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 Yes, yes, menu. Okay, good. Item. Okay. Bueno, muy bien. Vamos a recordar las prepositions. No, I'm sorry, the adverb of frequency. ¿Y cuándo utilizamos las adverbios de frecuencia? Bueno, las utilizamos para expresar eh, que tan a menudo realizamos ciertas acciones. Y hay una escala, ¿ok? Que se puede utilizar, por ejemplo, para decir, para el 100% va a ser siempre, always, right? Always. Always. Eh, para hacer... Un 50%, ¿cuál podemos utilizar? Uh, sometimes. 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 Ok, otra que podemos utilizar. Algo que nunca se hace. Never. Never. Muy bien. Pocas veces o raras veces podemos utilizar. Rarely. Tell them. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Tell them. Sometimes. No. Eh, usually, también tenemos usually que ese es como para un 80-70% probabilidad. Uh -huh. Ok, aquí tenemos otro. I read a book every day. I read a book 
every day. ¿Eso significa que lo hace? Always. Todos los días. 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 Exacto. Por ejemplo, I, usted puede decir, I take a shower every day. Okay. O puede decir, I always read a book. Ok, algo muy importante es la posición del adverbio de frecuencia. Ok, que va antes del verbo. Uh -huh. la lo, los, los adverbios van antes del verbo. Así es. Ok, tenemos usualmente, este dijimos que era como un 80%. Ok, eh, I usually play the saxophone. I usually play the saxophone. I ride my bike twice a week. ¿Saben qué significa la palabra twice? Dos veces. Dos veces. Dos veces. Ok. I often ride my bike. A menudo. I often. I often ride my bike. I play basketball once a week. Una vez. Hello, ¿me escuchan? Creo que se me fue la señal por un rato. Sí, se teacher, le perdió teacher. la imagen, teacher. Perdón. Muy okay. bien. Aquí tenemos, I play basketball once a week. Once a week. Sometimes, ok. Sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes play a uh, basketball. Basketball. I go to the cinema once a month. Eso significa que va una vez al mes. No, una no, vez. No. Once. Okay. Uh, I right. rarely go to the cinema. Uh, I rarely. I don't drink alcohol. None of the day. Ninguno. Never. I never drink alcohol. Ok. Entonces, podemos utilizar que para always vamos a tener una probabilidad de 100%. 100%. Usually. Puede ser un 80. Uh, podemos decir often un 70. 50. 70, 60. Sometimes es. Sometimes. 50. 50, 50. Rarely puede ser un sinónimo de seldom. Y never es que nunca sucede. Que okay, once es una vez. Twice, dos veces. Y ahí va. Three times, four times, five times. Uh, Mr. Hello. Uh, Podría regresar a la, a la anterior, por Gusto. favor. Gracias. Ok. Esos son, esos son adverbios, ¿verdad, Ticha? Adverbios de frecuencia. Ok. Thank you, Mr. Anytime.
¿Cómo sería acá? I ride my bike twice a week. Por lo cual podría ser reemplazado. Often. Exactly. I ride my bike twice a week or I often ride my bike. I walk my dog every day. I always walk my dog. I always walk my dog. I play the saxophone five times a week. You're shorting. You usually play it. I go to the cinema. Once a month. Right. Sometimes. Rarely. 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 Oh, sometimes. Sometimes es como I... eh, un 50%. Rarely es como rara vez. Rarely. Hardly ever. I don't drink alcohol. I never drink. I never drink. I never drink. I never drink alcohol. Never. I play basketball once a week. Um. I often. Rarely. Sometimes. I sometimes play basketball. Sometimes. And bye bye. <sighs> Very good. Uh, hold on, please. Give me a second, please. Okay. Voy a compartir con ustedes un link para practicar los adverbios de frecuencia. Acá está el link, si me ayudan. Ahí lo uh, van para abrir, Tiche, y empezamos a trabajar. Ese es práctica como el que estábamos haciendo anteriormente. Ah, ok. Thank you. Okay, nine players. Okay, I will start right now.
All right, let's see. Uh, top five. Mr. Juan Antonio, Miss Sandra, Mr. Luis, Miss Karen, and Miss Elizabeth. Congratulations. Good job. Very good. Muy bien. Okay, bueno, vamos a ir ahora al manual. Ok, al manual. Bueno, el manual sugiere o nos pide realizar una actividad que, eh, de speaking, de speaking, de hablar. Ok, así que vamos a realizar la siguiente actividad. Ok, donde usted describa, describa por un minuto, ok, a una persona que usted considere que es importante para usted. Utilizando el presente simple con toda la información que hemos dado, por ejemplo, la nacionalidad, la edad, color favorito, eh, su profesión, eh, más? usando los adverbios de frecuencia. Vamos a preparar nuestra, nuestro speech. Y tiene que durar al menos un minuto. ¿Ok? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Hijo, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Hola, hola. Es describir de una persona, dice. Usando sí, los de, adverbios. Describir. De describir de una persona. Ok, de su elección. Eh la información que usted quiera agregar, ¿ok? Por un minuto. Ok. Sí, señor, okay. disculpe. Dígame. Este, entre los cinco minutos voy a una videoconferencia en el trabajo, solo voy a estar de bien en tu momento. Está bien, no se preocupe. Gracias. Y los voy a... Vamos a trabajar en, en grupo para que se puedan auxiliar. Vamos a hacerla por 10 minutos y después comenzamos con las personas.
te dijo que y su mamá pues Vale, está bien. Mejor. Ajá, acabar. Michelle Ay, mi Cecilia. eh, decidimos solo una persona entre todos o uno cada uno Uno cada uno. <ríe> ok Me voy a poner acá el personaje es individual. Bueno. I screwed my mother. Bueno, si sí, sí, queremos ayuda y le solicitamos. <ríe> Yo no sé a quién le pido. No importa que repita, Batiche. No. Ok. No creo que repita. ¿Son hermanos? No. No. Quiero ver, voy a escribir a Messi. Traductor. Absent. Teacher, are you there? Hi, hi. Hello, I. How do you say? Uh, oh, what? She really. Pide permiso. <laughs> Ask for permission. Ask, Ask. ask for permission. Sandra, hello. Eh, yo creo que sería she always she always arise arise she always at arise. a word on time a word on time. Pero eh, no es necesario que un, utilicen solo los adverbios de frecuencia. Pueden utilizar, pueden darme otra información. Por ejemplo, eh, cuál es su nombre, dónde vive, cuál es su edad, cuál es su profesión, su color favorito. ¿Por qué es importante para usted? Okay. Uh, is is in this case only one person for the Only team. one person. Ah, oh, no, no. Individual. Ah, okay. Individual. Really? Okay. Okay.
teacher, una pregunta. Hey, tell me. Es este, ¿cómo puedo decir que una semana al mes trabajo horas extra? Once, ah, ok, one week. Uh -huh. In the month or during the month. I... Sería, pero sería one, no once. Una, ajá, como está refiriendo, one. es que once es una vez. Significa ajá. que solo una vez al, al mes, ¿verdad? Al mes. Pero se está diciendo okay. que una semana. Sí. Ah, ok, sería one uh, week, uh, a month. In the month oh, or during the month. Week. Ah, ok. Thank you. Hello, is there any question? No, teacher. Is there any question? No, teacher. Do you have your favorite person? Yes, I have a favorite person, but I don't have ideas to write. <laughs> uh, for example, what is his or her name? Where does he work or where does she does he or she work? How old is he or she? Uh, how is his physical appearance? Yeah. Ah, physical appearance, okay. Let me mm. see. Why is he or she important? Let me see. Or why do you think... She is very important in your life. Or why you decided to talk about him or about her? A favorite color, favorite food, favorite sport, hobbies, etc. Okay. Thank you. Did I give you enough ideas now? Le puedo leer, teacher, para ver si voy bien. Adelante. My daughter was born in 2008. Since she was lighter, she has been a girl with many characteristics. She has many gifts. She likes to help people. She is a affectional, cariñosa. Es, es, es. Cariñosa. Sí. Cariñosa. Huh? Lovely. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. She likes to cook, to play sport. She is currently in high school with an option in gastronomy. She makes delicious desserts. She is very diligent. And my husband and, and I are, uh, we are proud, proud. We are proud. Of her, proud of her. Of her, okay. Proud of her. Okay. Only. But, okay, solo la pronunciación de since. Se dice science, pero es since. De esto. Science, ajá. Uh, since. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. Vale, como consecuencia de eso, los Reyes se desplazaron al área contraria, lo que produjo que el tercer tren, que también transportaba pasajeros. A girl, his name is Cuba. Sometimes he plays in the Xbox. His favorite game is FIFA 23. Always after the class. 
we watch TV, we see the news. Mm, okay. Eh, ¿quién, lo que, lo que me, me perdí, ¿quién juega FIFA? ¿Él o usted? No, él. Okay. ¿Quién? El esposo. Va, perfecto. Vamos, Clarissa, veamos ahí. Hey, interesante. El mío. Sí, okay. y ya, solo una pequeña pausa. Ya cuando lo estamos leyendo, ah, siento ¿sí? que el tiempo vuela. Entonces, como que eh, el minuto uh -huh. todavía sobra. Uh -huh. Va, ok, Clarissa. Sobra, ¿verdad que sí? Démosle. Ok. Vaya, yo escribo a una, a una compañera de trabajo, una amiga, ¿ves? Angela okay. es una, es, is a very hard working a person. She always meet the word this. They said uh, she is rarely, rarely missed a word. Uh, she never takes Monday from the organization. Uh, it is prohibited. The hair, the hair, hair, hair is is uh, um, very responsible. Um, so listen. Okay. A una mía estoy describiendo. ¿no? Pero espérame, eso estoy buscando aquí en inglés porque eh, creo que esto no, no creo que se pelo. No, pero ya le dijo Karen. En inglés. Eh... Your hair. No. Espérame, que no, es que no me suena. Karen le está dando la, la, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá. En inglés, en inglés. A Corley. Yeah. Ajá, sí. Y yeah, así yo. Para hacer la carrera. Ajá, Corley es muy responsable. Ella es muy responsable. She is very responsable. Ok. She's very what? I'm sorry. Curly hair, curly hair. Ah, curly hair. Ajá. Sí, porque el, curly. ahí como es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Curly Bántetelo. hair. Ajá, curly hair. And she is very responsible, you said, right? Ella es muy responsable. Ajá, she is very responsible. 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 Are you ready, by the way? Vamos. Eh? You Let's were go. born ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, who are you going to talk about, Mr. Luis? Okay. Uh, who? I talk about, um, about my wife. Your wife and Miss yeah. Karen? About my husband. Your husband. Yes. Okay. Miss Clarissa. Uh, uh, my friend. I'm sorry. My friend. Ah, your friend. Ah. Uh -huh. And your. Friend. Your friend. Mm -hmm. Your friend. Let's put number.
Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. This microphone doesn't work. I guess. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Me escuchan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Start. All right. Let's start with the mini presentation. That's the hard mini. Okay. Who wants to break the ice? Who wants to break the ice? Who wants to break the ice? Me, teacher. Me is Karen. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, talk about my husband. His name is Josue. He's 37 years old. He's handsome and he's taller than me. About his profession, he's a psychologist. He works with a student. He gives training by virtual class. He loves cooks. He cooks delicious dishes. Twice in a week, we go to the park and he has a dog. His, its name is Booba. Sometimes he plays in the Xbox. His favorite game is FIFA 2023 or <laughs> Mortal Kombat X. Always after the class, we watch TV. We see the news. Excellent. Very good. Uh, you gave us a lot of information. It seems you know him a lot. Okay. You spoke 43 seconds. 43 seconds. Very good. Excellent. Another volunteer? Um, me, Mr. Okay. Luis, okay. Go ahead, Mr. Okay. My wife is my favorite person. Her name is Georgina. Uh, she is a beautiful girl. Uh, she has uh, 42 years old. She's a teacher. Her favorite color is red. She loves her pets, but overall thing, she prefers me. <laughs> she all... <laughs> She always cooks at home. Every morning we take breakfast together. We are the parents of two wonderful children, the we Montserrat. I can say that we are a happy family. Oh, excellent. Okay. 37 okay. seconds. Very good. Okay. You gave us a lot of information. Nos dio bastante información. Muy bien. Solamente se le agregó, le olvidó agregarle la letra S a un verbo. Se me, se me fue por algo. A, a preferred. No, no, creo que cuál? she plays algo así, no me recuerdo, pero solo un, un verbo. Cooks. Okay? She always cooks. cooks. Dice... Okay, todo está muy bien. Muy okay. ordenado, bastante eh, eh, bueno en la gramática. Muy bien. Thank you. Ok. Eh, 37 seconds, 37. Very good. Ok, another volunteer. Me. Miss Catherine. Go ahead, Miss. I'm going to talk about my sister. My sister is younger than me. She is 23 years old and works as a customer service in Sykes School Center. Also, she is the one of the most important person in my life. She studies communication in university technology. She always wake up at, wakes up, wakes up at 7 a.m. to work at home also, she sometimes go to the church. She often go to the gym. She is my best friend, but I have to say that she never learned how to cook. Hmm. Also, she dances ballet and has worked as a model several times. Twice a week, she goes to the supermarket to buy food for the week. Excellent. Very good. She has worked as a model, you say, right? Yeah. She, okay. Just the, the pronunciation of the ED worked. But good job. Okay. Good grammar, good pronunciation, good fluency. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. 53 seconds, I said. 53 seconds. Okay. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Miss Rosibel. My daughter is a person responsible, intelligent, and friendly. She is 27 years old. She is a cosmetology. Her favorite color is black. She 
usually likes to eat Chinese food. She has two babies. She wears her hair long and always is very kind to her clients. She is small and beautiful and never gets fat. Her favorite fruit is mango. She is an important person in my life. Ah, beautiful. Okay. 47 seconds. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Congratulations. Uh, another volunteer? Me, teacher. Mi Cecilia. Veo la mano levantada. No sé si fue ella la que. No, Concepción. Ah, okay. Vamos con Miss Concepción y después Miss Cecilia. Okay. I'm going to talk to you about my daughter. Her name is Sylvia. My daughter was born in 2008. Since she is little, she has been a girl with many characteristics. She has many gifts. She likes to help people. She is lovely. She likes to cook, to play sports. She is currently in high school with an option in gastronomy. She made delicious dessert. She is very diligent, and my husband and I are very proud of her. She has long black hair, black, black hair. She is brunette. She is of medium height. Only. Excellent. Very good. Okay, you spoke 41 seconds. 41 segundos. Muy bien. Okay, very concise in your grammar. Buena gramática. Bastante buena en la pronunciación, la fluidez. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Miss uh, Cecilia, please. Hello. Uh, my brother is very pretty. He is a small boy. Uh, so, so with he likes car. He is thin. He likes to play ball. He is brown. China has six years old. Uh, brothers too much is smiling and he likes to eat chicken. Very good. Okay. Uh, 27 seconds. 27. Muy bien. Okay. Al inicio de my brother is pretty, ¿verdad? Yes. Pretty. Bonito. Yes. Okay. But pretty. Está bien. También puede haber utilizado Handsome. Handsome es como más para masculino. Handsome. Ok. Pretty también, pero es más utilizado handsome. Very good. Handsome. Ok, another volunteer. Mi teacher. Mr. Teacher. Wilfredo. Ok, go ahead, Mr. Wilfredo, and then Mr. Carlos Alfredo. Ok, we have a system engineer. I am from El Salvador. I am 37 years old. I am system engineer. I work to GBM El Salvador. I am incident manager. I work from home. I rarely go to the office. One week in the month, I work overtime. I always get up at 5.30 a.m. and I get dressed. I have three schedules to, at work. During the month, one week. Hmm. The next week, I start to work at 7 a.m. And the last week, I start to work at 9.30 a.m. In my free time, I like to cook desserts. The cheesecake is my favorite, but hardly ever I cook it. Also, every Sunday, I go out to have a breakfast with my family. Uh, we have Carlos Reyes, too. Hello, my name is Carlos Reyes. I am 40 years old. I live in Aguachapan. My favorite color is red. My profession is a social worker. I work at the mayor's office from Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I am a purchasing assistant. I am a father of two children. My hobby is watching TV. Once a week, I visit my family. I have two dogs, and I always bathe them every two days. I vaccinate them. And we have next Steve. Steve usually gets up at 5 a.m. He leaves home at 5 and 50 
and always take the bus at six, six o'clock. He always arrives at work on time because he always leaves home an hour earlier. And to get to work, he needs only 30 minutes. Steve usually has breakfast at eight o'clock because he sometimes has a lot of work to do. He is very responsible and always has all the reports on time. He rarely gets sick and hardly ever asks for permission. After work, mm -hmm. he goes to play soccer twice a week. He does yoga once a week, Wednesday to be exactly, and seldom go to the movies because his friends hardly ever have enough time. Enough time. Very good. Okay, you spoke two minutes. 35 seconds. Excellent, mister. Okay, uh, you include a lot of vocabulary, good grammar, good fluency. Very good. Congratulations. Now, Mr. Carlos Alfredo. Eh, como estábamos en el mismo grupo con Wilfredo, te... Ah, ok, ok. Por eso. Ah, ok. Ok, ok, no problem. Otro voluntario? No hay volunteer? Another volunteer. Si gusta yo, teacher, pero me cuesta Miss. un poco la pronunciada. Ah, no importa, estamos aprendiendo, Miss. No se preocupe. Vale, ok. Eh, ya es con respecto a una amiga, ¿verdad? Your friends. And your friends. My friend, eh, sería ahí. My friend. Ah, uh, 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 my friend. Ok. Mm. Eh, my friend. Eh, is a very hard working person. She always meet the girls. She, they, sit. Uh, she rarely misses the work. Uh, she never take the Michael money, perdón, from the organization. Uh, she hurts curly hairs. Uh, he is a very responsible, responsible, responsible. Creo que sí, pues. <laughs> responsible. Uh, she always eats and brave fat in the work when the working and the light like the um, and the rally like the movies etc. Okay, it's okay. Very good. Muy bien, excelente. 45 okay. segundos. Okay. Muy bien. Miss. ¿Cuánto? 45. Okay. Very Yo good. Pensé que no me había tardado nada. 45. Okay, excellent. Another Thank volunteer? You. Another volunteer? Okay, bueno, vamos a regresar al manual. Página 23. Y vamos a hacer el ejercicio 4. 23-24. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see here, we have... A schedule. Tenemos un, eh, how do you say, eh, como horario, calendario, ok, schedule. Ok, y dice, look at the schedule at the restaurant and answer the following question. Who manages the restaurant? Who cooks? ¿Quién cocina? ¿Quién es el gerente del restaurante? Como pueden ver, acá está eh, la, el descriptor de pues, cashier, cook. Manager, uh, order taker, waiter. Acá están los nombres. Ok, aquí está el horario. From 10 to 10 p.m. Ok, the manager. And here we have this question. Tenemos estas preguntas y dice, Who is in charge of waiting table in the morning shift? ¿Quién es el encargado de esperar las mesas en, la, en el horario de la mañana? Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, vamos a contestar todas estas preguntas dependiendo de el calendario o el horario que podemos ver en esa página. Ok. There we go.
es el encargado de, de esperar las mesas en la mañana. Sí. Parte de Ramón. Mateo Octubre. En Mateo. Ok. Who is charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer, Jennifer Rodríguez. Rodríguez. Jennifer Rodríguez. <coughs> Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kimberly and Cynthia. No, Kevin. No. Kevin, Kevin Dooley, Dooley. Karen Dooley. Cook, cook, perdón, sí. Cook, uh -huh. Karen cook Dooley. in the morning. Is the kitchen, in charge of the kitchen. Yes. Era Kevin and Karen Dooley. Kevin Dooley, uh-huh. Los Duli. Okay. Who is in charge of taking order during the morning? Taking order. Jorge Milano y Carlos Guardia. What does Matthew do? Yes, Matthew. Matthew is a waiter. Oh. He, he is waiter. He is waiter. Matthew. ¿Qué hace? Es waiter, Matthew. Es el único que está acá. Sí. Uh -huh. Porque el otro es Mateo. Uh -huh. He is waiter. Es so waiter. Is waiter or he is a waiter? He's a waiter. <coughs> okay. Vaya, Jonathan, es del teacher, dígale que quiere escribir a su ex novia <laughs> para que no se quede con la gana. <laughs> El teacher. El teacher está concentrada en otra cosa. Sí, me y estamos pendientes. No, le digo, teacher, que, que ya iba a pasar, pero iba a describir a mi exnovia. Entonces, mejor que no haya participado. Le digo. ¿Por qué no, mister? Ah, ya iba a llorar ahí, teacher, no de todo. Eh. Mal ahí. Exacto, no trates a alguien como reina que te trató como esclavo. Exacto, Mister. Uh, yeah. Y a pesar de eso, usted iba a hablar bien de ella. Sí, imagínese. Pero he inventado. Yo. Ah, bueno. <risa> <risa> en un mundo alternativo. Sí, es que como estábamos platicando con Juan, bueno, ¿a quién describir? Y, y a, a Susi, no sé cómo se llama. Y todos decíamos nuestra mamá. Después alguien dijo, hermana, y para salir ya, sabía que nadie iba a decir de la ex, ¿verdad? Voy a hablar de la ex. Les digo. <risa> para salir de lo común. <risa> Exacto. Bueno. ¿Son las dos preguntas eran, dicho? Sí, solo esas son. Okay. Si quieres, practicamos eh, el, la pronunciación, compañero. 
Va okay, usted primero, Ivo. Cantamos primero. <laughs> Who is in charge of waiting table in the morning shift? Who is charge of many the restaurant? Marisa. Yo había empezado por las preguntas de abajo. Y esas otras. Ya entendí que todas las había que contestarlas, pues. Por eso no le lograba captar ahí. Así que yo empecé con algunas de la parte de abajo. Pero no sé los demás, ¿cómo van? Ajá. Hay las otras compañeras. La ¿Cuál? parte 4, escuché yo que íbamos a resolver. Ajá. Yo solo eso hice. Ajá. No sé si ah, pues algo más. Por eso Ay, yo pregunté. Porque teacher, me senté un poquito más frenos. Pero no Vaya, está de pues, más haber contestado de arriba. No, pues sí, perdón. En la parte 4. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Is Walter Omo. Es la cuatro de exercise four. I am so sorry, teacher. I lost. No, no problem. The, the, this mm -hmm. is the, you have to answer this. This, uh, okay. But who is in charge for me is. Walter Omo and Matthew Su is in this part. O sea, en español. Esas preguntas las íbamos a responder con el, el schedule del number three. No. From this. Yes. Yes, ma'am. No. Yes. Huh? That's why it says, who yes. is the man who is in charge of the waiting table in the morning shift? ¿Quién está a cargo de las... Mesa de espera en la mañana, en el turno de la mañana. Aquí vamos a ver. Walter Omo. And Matthew Tool. Exactly. Oh, ok. Entonces voy a decir, they o Walter Omo and Matthew Tool are in charge are... of. In The second is Jennifer Rodriguez is the man Jennifer Rodríguez. Yes, the manager. Manager. Okay. Number two. Who is in charge of the teaching in the morning? Um, this Kevin Dumi and Karen Dumi are in charge. In charge. Kevin Dumi. Kevin Dooley and Karen. Karen Dooley. Uh -huh. yes. Kevin, Kevin and Karen. And Kevin and Karen Dooley are in charge of the kitchen. Number four, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning? Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardia. Yeah. Of the kitchen. Take a order. Take a order. Uh, the is number four. Yeah. Uh -huh, Aha. Sí, sí, sí. Take order. Uh, order take.
Okay. All right, let's see. Um, let's answer the following question. For example, who is in charge of waiting table in the morning shift? Walter, Walter Omo and Matthew too. Are in charge. I'm sorry, one more time. Walter, Walter Omo, Omo and Matthew, Matthew too. Are, are in charge. Are in charge. Are in charge. A waiting table. Waiting table. Good. Uh, who is in charge of my, uh, managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. She is the manager. Good. Mm -hmm. Number three. Who is in charge of kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of taking order during the morning shift? Jorge Milano. Jorge Milano. Carlos. Carlos Excellent. What does Matthew do? He's a waiter. He's a waiter. Very good. Vamos a tomar eh, la asistencia de esta noche. Ok. Comenzamos con eh, Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Maribel Ramos. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Alvarado Present Benavides. teacher. Present teacher. Present teacher. López González. Present teacher. Orellana de Alemán. Orellana de Alemán. Santana González Tobar Ayala Present teacher Herrera Lucha Herrera Present Lucha teacher. Present teacher Thank you López Orellana Present teacher Thank you Alvarado Mejía Present Mejía Hueso Present teacher León Rivera Present teacher Castaneda Velasco Romero Ayala Martínez López Present Rosibel Hernández Present teacher Sandra Elizabeth Molina de García Present Thank you López de Cabrera Present teacher Antonio Luna Rivera Hernández en Miss Pineda Mármol. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop right here with the class. Okay. Take care and see you tomorrow. Have a good one and good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. See you tomorrow morning. Teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Teacher. Dígame, Miss. Un, una consulta, ¿verdad? Bueno. Que para esta semana tenemos que terminar ya el el mid el mid es el mid term, eh, sí. el mid sí. term. Así es. Ok. ¿Hasta qué tarea, teacher? Hasta la 10. Hasta la 10. Me corrí. Sí, hasta Ajá, la 10. Hasta la 10. Okay. Sí, porque yo solo he hecho hasta las 6. ¿sí? Se ah, voy por aún... orden, según aún... los temas que usted nos ha uh -huh. estado explicando. Aún va, aún va a tiempo. Gracias, teacher. Good night. Good night.